Now, here's the thing. The, the nationwide protests that were organized by the opposition in Kenya, they coincided with um, other protests around the continent of Africa, three other African countries, um, as in Kenya, the protests in South Africa, Tunisia, and Nigeria were fueled by claims of electoral justice and also growing dissatisfaction with how the regime in power was running the affairs of those countries. Nduta Mokami with the details. Kenya's opposition leader Raila Odinga led a convoy of vehicles across residential estates after police blocked access to Nairobi's central business district. The veteran politician has been making stops at various centers to address his supporters who have been demonstrating since morning. Odinga called the anti-government protests, accusing the authorities of failing to address the rising cost of living. Meanwhile, thousands marched through the streets of South Africa's cities to demand that President Cyril Ramaphosa resign as security forces guarded malls and roads to prevent violence and looting. Several journalists working for South Africa's public broadcaster, SABC TV, have been attacked while covering opposition protests in Cape Town. Reports by local media note that the incident occurred in the early morning hours as the crew was filming visuals of the protests. One of the journalists has been hospitalized with head injuries, local media say describing the incident as traumatic. Elsewhere, protests in Tunisia's capital Tunis have been ongoing to pressure the government over the alleged authoritarian rule by President Kai Said. Thousands of opposition supporters, including members of the Tunisian General Labour Union, have been rallying in the capital of Tunis. And finally, Nigeria's opposition outfit, the People's Democratic Party, led by its presidential candidate Atiku Abubakar, has amassed protests over alleged electoral fraud. Supporters who caused traffic jams in parts of Abuja also carried placards with inscriptions, We say no to justice and fraud, and no more cheating. Ndutamokami for Prime Edition.